Hey, it's Garrick. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I make videos on modifying my Tesla Model Y, reviewing test accessories, and of course, anything tech. I've done some videos in the past regards to Tesla Vision. I've done a release test, I've done a test in the rain, and I've also tested against a USS Tesla Model Y. Now, Tesla Vision has definitely got a lot of mixed reviews, and what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna test Tesla Vision in different scenarios. I'm gonna be using the same parking spot, I'm gonna test it during the rain, I'm gonna test it during the day, I'm gonna test it during the night, and I'm really gonna see if Tesla Vision is it really worth the hype, or is it a bus? All right, everybody, let's go test it out. All right, so I'm here at a local parking lot. We're gonna test Tesla Vision. The way it's gonna work is that I am gonna pull in and I'm gonna back into a parking spot. As soon as the car tells us to stop, we're gonna stop, we're gonna get out of the car. We're gonna measure the distance between the bumper to the curb. And that will give us an idea in all different scenarios on how well or how bad Tesla vision is. All right, let's go do this. All right, for the first test, the skies are clear, very little clouds, nice and bright. Let's go do this. We're gonna pull into the parking spot. Okay, where it stopped, pull the car to park, and we're gonna go measure the distance. All right, ready, as you can see here from the front bumper, it's about 27 inches from when the car told us to stop. And the funny thing was that as we're getting closer to the curb, I was already at about 13 inches, so this is way off, roughly about a good 13 inches. All right, let's go back it in. All right, we are going to be reversing into the spot. All right, let's tell us to stop. All right, so the car told us to stop. Uh, set on the screen is about 12 inches. And that's about 37. Ouch. Yeah, there's something wrong with this. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is a test during a cloudy day. So let's take a look and see how well Tesla Vision is going to work. Same with the other tests, we are going to go pull in and we are going to back into a parking spot. All right. Put it to park. All right, as you can see here, we are about 31 inches when the car is telling me to stop. So you definitely have a lot more space by doing this. All right, let's try reversing it to the spot. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be reversing into this parking spot. All right, as you can see here, this is giving us roughly about 16 inches from the bumper to the curb. Big difference compared to the first time when we did it. And it's probably because there was some shadow on the first test. All right, let's test this out. I'm pulling it in. All right. Let's go measure the distance. All right, here, let's see where we are. We are roughly about 18 inches. Yeah, about eight, eh, take that bag, we're about 19 inches from the curb to the bumper. All right, let's back it in. 
All right, we're backing into the parking spot. All right, let's measure this. All right, so let's measure this. Let's see what we got here. We're roughly about 16 inches from the rear bumper to the curb. I'm actually kind of interested uh, to see how these numbers would be in the rain. All right, everybody, catch it a little bit. All right, so I'm in my car. It is raining outside and we are going to test this. We're going to try this twice without the wipers on, with the wipers on to clear the windshield, to clear the camera and see how test of vision works. As you can see here, it's roughly about eight inches. All right, let's test it again. We are going to do this again with the wipers on. And let's see how we do. Okay. Pretty consistent, eight inches. All right, let's back it in. Completely roll in. And the rear, it's about 24 inches, two feet, from the bumper to the curb. All right, not too bad. And let's uh, do this again when it's darker. All right, so I'm driving, and as you can see here with Tesla Vision, park assist is degraded. This estimation may be inaccurate, and this is probably due to dirty cameras. It's raining, it's dark. We're gonna see how well Tesla Vision is gonna do. We're gonna do it without the wipers. We're gonna do it with the wipers on, and we're gonna back it in. All right, let's go do this. All right, so we're gonna start with the wipers off. With the wipers off, we are about 21 inches. All right, let's try with the wipers on. All right, so we're gonna do with the wipers on. All right, let's measure this. Excuse the bell chime from the church. Right now we have about 28 inches, roughly about. So with the wipers on, it is giving a little extra protection compared to with the wipers off, which is roughly about 21 inches. All right, let's back it in. All right, so we're gonna back it in. Windy, Ooh. It's a little chilly out. It's about 25 inches from the bumper to the curb. All right, this test has been somewhat useful. All right, so let's go over the results. All right, so let's go over the results and let me give you my feedback regards to Tesla Vision. I try to make this test as the most realistic test as possible. I test it in every different scenario there is. All right, I'm gonna go over the results and let me give you the rundown of how I got these numbers. I would pull in or back into a parking spot as soon as the car tells me to stop. On average, roughly well, about 12 to 13 inches that it was described on the screen. And then I will go out and measure the distance. And then from that point, I will then subtract whatever the number from the screen. So on a sunny day, actually it was probably the worst results, shockingly, and I'll give you a reason and why. Pull it in as a car told me to stop, measured outside roughly about 26 inches, subtract the 13 inches, and I was off roughly about 13 inches. Backing in, 
when the car told me to stop, I was at 37 inches and I was off roughly about 25. So the reason for the bad results on the sunny day as I was watching the video, the position of the sun was actually in the front or the back of the car, depending how you look at it, right? And it created a large shadow. And by creating that large shadow, Tesla vision was a little wonky and it told me to stop prematurely. So on a cloudy day pulling in, when the car told me to stop, I measured roughly about 31 inches and I was off roughly about 19 inches. And then backing in, as I measured the distance, is roughly about 16 inches and I subtracted by 12 inches and I was off roughly about four inches. Let's go over the results during the night. Shockingly, the results actually got better. So pulling in, the car told me to stop. I went outside, measured roughly about 19 inches, subtracted by 12, I was off roughly about seven inches. Now backing in, when the car told me to stop, I was at 16 inches and I was off by four inches. And on a rainy day, pulling in with the wipers on and off, the results were exactly the same. So when the car told me to stop, I got outside, measured it, I was actually roughly about eight inches from the curb. So the difference on this one was actually negative four inches. All right, so backing in, I measured 24 inches and the car told me I was actually 15 inches away. So I was off roughly about nine inches. Now the last test was during the night when it was raining. Now pulling in with the wipers off, I measured roughly about 21 inches. So I was off about nine inches there. Now with the wipers on, when I measured it, it was roughly about 28 inches and I was off about about 16 inches there and then backing in I measured it roughly about 25 inches and the car told me I was about 15 inches away and the results are roughly off by 10 inches so as you can see uh, the results varied based on condition all right so let me give you my feedback regards to Tesla vision it's not there it's not 100%, the numbers are way off, and it's gonna to continue to do that. And the fact is, the cameras on the current Tesla, if you have hardware three, it's not that great. And I don't think the new cameras on hardware four is gonna be that much better. I just think Elon has prematurely launched Tesla Vision without being 100% accurate. I mean, Elon or anybody on Tesla's research and development team, or whatever the case may be, I hope you're all watching this video, please offer USS to the people who don't have it. The wire harnesses are there. I will pay for it. I will love to have it. Now, Tesla Vision and USS together, I think that is a home run there. But unfortunately, it's not. And um, I wish Tesla Vision could be better. If you're in the market for a pre-owned or new Tesla, you're not sure which way you want to go, I hope this test will help you make that decision. If you are looking to get a new Tesla regardless, definitely use my referral link. You get additional $500 off and also three months free FSD. Uh, you can get that link in the description below. But overall, I really thought Tesla Vision was going to be better. Initially, when if you look at my previous videos, I really thought Tesla Vision was the best thing in the world. And I'll take that back. Definitely need some improvement. You know, honestly as any driver we need to understand our car and we just can't rely on technology at this point to allow us to park our cars properly use the cameras use your side view mirrors to guide you into your parking spot don't use tesla vision as your go-to for parking your tesla use it as a guide use your cameras use the technology that, that's given to us and our eyes as well i hope this video is super helpful and if it is and you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification notification bell. You don't want to miss future videos like this. All right, everybody be safe and I'll catch you on the road.